Hello, it's Flo and today I want to compare for you the HTC One X here with Android Ice Cream Sandwich and Sense4 user interfa interface and the Galaxy Note there with the uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich also. These two different phones are not exactly the same. Uh, the comparison will start with specificities. The dimension of the Galaxy Note is 578 by 3.27 by 38. Uh, this is inches, it's 147 by this way. For the one X is 134, we can see the difference there. Also, we have the difference of this part of the width there. We have for the Galaxy Note uh, 83 millimeters and the one X is uh, 70 millimeters. Also, about the fineness, the Galaxy Note is 9.65 and the One X is uh, 8.9 millimeters. The uh, weight is not the same also. The One X is just uh, thinner because it's 130 grams for the One X and the uh, Galaxy Note is 178. The advantage for the Galaxy Note is maybe the st stylus uh, for using it. You know, uh, I don't remember what it is, but we maybe don't need it right now. Okay, uh, moreover, there is the uh, key control for the One X is volume there and there, and we got here uh, the jack dock, the camera aperture is there, and there is the power button at the top of the smartphone. We also get uh, the USB connection there, and a microphone there and there with a front face camera, 1.3 uh, megapixel. The Galaxy Note front face camera is there with 2 megapixels. Uh, we get there the dock for the, uh, for the jack. We also have there the dock for USB. The difference of camera is 8 megapixels for the two different phones, but the HTC One X has a 2.0 aperture and the Galaxy Note has a 2.8 aperture. So this is better for the One X. Also, we can see the difference uh, of the screen. I prefer the One X because you can see where you continue to see the screen, and we have the One X also, and not the Galaxy Note. From there, you can see that. We can see that also by this way. You know, maybe we continue to see that here. Uh, also, the One X has not any uh, button there. There is one here for the Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy Note. We have three different buttons there, but this is sensitive button, and this is only two different sensitive buttons for the Galaxy Note. Uh, yes, this is a launcher. This is launcher Go Launcher Pro. So this is why uh, we don't have the same thing. The screen for the uh, One X is uh, uh, the resolution is 720 by 1280. And this is the same for the Galaxy Note, but HE by this way. And so the uh, pixel density is better for the One X with uh, 312 uh, against 285 for the Galaxy Note. The Galaxy Note has a Super AMOLED screen and the uh, One X has uh, LCD, LCD 2. This is the name, names, uh, the same number of colors. 16 nylon and 77 uh, colors. There is capacitive multi-touch also. Uh, we can see about the battery. The battery has 2500 milliampere hours for the Galaxy Note and uh, uh, 1800 milliampere hours for the One X. The One X is a Li polymer and Li ion for uh, the Galaxy Note. The System chip is for the Galaxy uh, Note um, Exynos. This is a dual core for uh, 1.4 giga gigahertz, and the One X has a quad core 1.5 gigahertz, and this is an NVIDIA Tegra 3. So this is better for the One X. Uh, the built-in storage is exactly the same, 32 gigabytes, uh, but there is a storage extension for the Galaxy Note if you need it. Um, we have a flash LED for the camera of the two different phones. Uh, we have preference for the HTC One X camera. Maybe we can see that there, because there is just uh, too many things to to see with uh, with this one. So take pictures.
we have this sense there on the HTC One X screen and this is just an amazing camera for this one uh, we have ice, ice cream sandwich camera for the Galaxy Note uh, we can see that we can take pictures by this way for the One X and the One uh, Galaxy Note is most difficult and we have a lot of things uh, better with HTC Sense camera with the One X also uh, we can say more about uh, about the vine video feature. Uh, maybe this is better also for V One X because you can take pictures at the same time you are recording a video. Okay, so we are now going to talk about the system. Maybe. Hello, it's Flo, and today I want to test for you with my HTC Desire HG, my HTC One S, my HTC One X, and the Galaxy Note from friend. Uh, a benchmark test with, for example, the Antutu benchmark test. So I have to try to start that at the same uh, moment, but it will be difficult, so I will just uh, start with the Desire HG at the first time and then try to start the three others at the same time. Oh, no connection, okay. Uh, choose SG card, this one, and let's go. And let's go to start with the One S also. So we get 1%. And let's go to test it uh, to see. Okay, the One X has already eight percent, and we get fifteen for the Desire HG. Um, we get fifteen for the One X, fifteen for the Galaxy Note, fifteen for the One S. So the One S is as a get pro uh, dual core, uh, the One X a quad core, and this Galaxy Note a dual core also. And we will just uh, show what happened with that. The Desire HD is the first, but I started before the others. And uh, and uh, and we will see what happened. One X is still before. One S is also uh, on the blocks. Okay, the race must be just amazing. Uh, the Galaxy Note is just behind the others, so we have to wait for the final final score. This one as a customer, this is virtuous. Uh, Infinity Beta 1, the Galaxy Note uh, has no custom ROM, the One X has the Maximus custom ROM, this is a jelly bean version, and the One S has a leader aid version, and this is a good version also. Um, so we have to see uh, how fast it is. I prefer the screen from the, for the One X, then maybe the HG, and then the Galaxy Note, and then the One S. Okay, so we have 58 uh, frames per, per second, uh, 64 V1 S. Okay, uh, after we get 50.15, 60.15 for V1 S, maybe better than V1 X, but this is JB inversion. We get 60.18 for V Galaxy Note, better than others. Also, we can see that maybe here. And we get only uh, 30 frames per, per second for the Galaxy Note there. Okay, so... Uh, oh, maybe we have uh, an issue with this core because one S don't have uh, any connection and this is the same for the Desire HD. So we get V1X before VGSR HD and over phones, so V1X is faster and we get a final score for uh, 2245 for V1X, so get it there, we have just some uh, more information maybe. Get there. We have 700 for, uh, 7000 for V1S. Free Android for the one, uh, the Desire HG, and we are still waiting for the for the Galaxy Note. So this one is four times better than the Desire HG, and twice better than the One S, and we just get three 
1,064 and 604 V-Galaxy Note. So we can say uh, Galaxy Note is maybe as big as HD and we get one S and one X better than V-Galaxy Note. Uh, we can also test maybe the quadrant standard test there, 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 uh, quadrant standard there, okay, okay, uh, run full benchmark, run, run, by this way, and we have to wait. We can also launch uh, the Gsire HD, there, uh, we get it, we have to install it, maybe, so we have to wait just to see what. Okay, so 1x is faster for this moment, 60 fraps per second for this one, 60 for the 1s also. Um, we have 71 for the 1s, seen that there, 60 for the 1x, we are there. Okay, the Galaxy Note is still there, so we are still waiting. Open, we have just to, yes, proceed. And we get for V1X a final score with 6,435. Uh, 6, so yes, I want to proceed, but I can't. So V1S is just uh, behind there, that. Okay, so 1x is just so faster than the Galaxy Note and we have just to wait now uh, for, the, for the one, uh, the Galaxy Note, excuse me. Okay, let's wait. We have 54 fraps, 26. Yes, I want to proceed for the final result between the... Uh, wow, where is this one? We don't have the score for the for this one. We just get one X there and we can see that the uh, Galaxy Note is just a long time behind, uh, behind the, the one X there. Okay, so uh, thanks to have seen this video. I think we have your final score for the One X or Galaxy Note. Uh, thanks again to continue to share my my work. That's flow.